Hello, and welcome to The World We Want. The World We Want 2015 is a platform created by the UN and civil society to amplify people's voices in the process of building a global agenda for sustainable development. The World We Want is an online space that applies innovative techniques to data mining and visualization and hosts the UN and civil society's official open consultations for the post-2015 agenda. Today, we will be exploring the Trends and Outcomes tab. Clicking on Explore the World We Want 2015 Visualizations, will bring us to a visualization data mining tool that allows you to easily browse consultations led by the United Nations Development Group in civil society. Also, the data sets include sustainable development solutions by communities and academia. You can search these databases by consultation, region, country, and through a keyword search. The bubbles here represent different issues while the connecting lines between them represent the relationship amongst these issues. The wider the connecting line, the stronger the relationship between these two issues. Returning to the main page, clicking on Explore the World We Want data set, will bring us to a visualization tool that allows the user to view, in a clear manner, the total information and activity on the World We Want platform. The circles here represent pieces of information and are color-coded, as can be seen by the key in the top right-hand corner. Moving your cursor over a bubble will also show you the connections which exist between this piece of information and the 11 tag thematic issues. Returning again to the main page, clicking on Explore People's Voices Issue Briefs, will bring you to a page that contains the full list of People's Voices issue briefs prepared by UNDG to the Open Working Group. These reports are easily downloadable, as can be seen by simply clicking upon the download key. Returning again to the main page, clicking on View Past Events, will bring the user to a page that provides the ability to watch previous People's Voices events along with accompanying press releases. The bottom of the page will also highlight additional relevant user content along with containing a live Twitter feed to our hashtag Voices2015 Twitter. Returning again to the main page, clicking on Formal Letters Submitted to the High Level Panel, will allow you to navigate a search tool by which you can browse the letters submitted to the high-level panel by categories, regions, countries, or again through a keyword search. Returning again to the main page, clicking on Explore the My World dataset, 
will bring the user to a page that provides the ability to have an intricate view of the My World data. This divides the nearly million and a half votes of My World by gender, age, education, and HDI, also known as the Human Development Index. If we scroll down, we can see that we are provided with a real-time breakdown of My World data through the 16 My World priorities. This information as well can be broken down by country, gender, education, and age. Further graphs depicting aggregations of My World data can also be found if we scroll down the page. Returning again to the main page, clicking on Explore the My World Priorities heat map, will bring you to a page which shows each My World Priority disaggregated by country in the visual representation of the world. If we scroll down, this tool will allow you to cross-compare the priorities of three distinct countries and more easily view their differences. Returning again to the main page, Clicking on My World Free Text Priority Analysis will take us to a page that allows you to search the results of the optional 17th My World Priority where a voter can write in an extra priority or suggestion as free text. The graph here shows how voters that wrote in the 17th option about a specific topic ranked each priority in comparison to average voters. Returning again to the main page, clicking on Explore the post-2015 social media conversation will lead the user to a Twitter analysis which first measures the use of words on Twitter that are associated with the My World priorities and then displays the top 20 countries speaking on this issue. If we scroll down on this page, we are presented with a tool which allows the user to measure the tweets associated with the My World priorities for each country. This provides further information while also allowing you to view the top 24 words associated with each dot upon the priority list, including the amount of tweets of each measurement shown. Returning again to the main page, clicking on Explore Reports, will allow you to view a variety of reports relevant to the entirety of the UN, World We Want, My World Campaign, and 
country reports. These reports are also easily downloadable simply by clicking upon the report. Thank you so much for watching our exploration today of the Trends and Outcomes page. We hope to hear your voice soon on the world we want.